Hey everybody, this is TG Pro Gaming Time, and I just want to announce that I am not dead. Um, that's a happy thing, but the sad thing is I haven't uploaded in a few weeks, and my reason for that is because of schoolwork and my friends. I'm I I know I know um a lot of you that are subscribed to me are probably frustrated if you do watch my videos regularly, but I I swear like. I will get on a straight schedule. I'm just having difficult times with school and everything like that. But um, if you're still subscribed to me, thank you so much for sticking with me. And let's get on with the video. This, as you can see, is a contraption with farmland and water and sticky pistons. And what it does, I will demonstrate. And to make it more easier on me, time consuming, I've got my handy dandy bone meal to instantly grow the wheat. And what we're going to do now is we're going to flick the switch. Water flows. It all plops down. We're going into the water funnel at the end and inserting here. And you pick it up. You got a bunch of stuff. And when I come back, I'm going to be showing you how to build one for yourself. All right, guys, you're going to need, let's go over it, redstone, redstone repeaters, stone recommended water bucket, seeds, lever, glass, grass block that can be placed or you can just kind of dig it out and sticky pistons so first I just want to dig out a line of eight and then do it again you, okay count two over and on your third one you do another eight and this is for basic you can you can do this like all the way across the land but this is this is basic so okay and then what you're gonna do is you're going to fill these little trench looking things with water and you may notice I'm not editing as much as the first episode and the reason is because this is very very quick it takes me like five minutes to build these things and next you're gonna place glass over it this will this will help you to get to your crops without going in the water and going slow and all that kind of annoying stuff. So, um, may as well want to make it as short and entertaining as possible. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I don't know how stupid I've just been. Well, I know I've been very stupid, but you're gonna need a a hoe to turn the ordinary grass into farmland. Sorry about that. I was pretty much distracted because my my hotkey bar was already full. So there's that. It's getting dark. Let's fix that. And now what you're gonna do? Okay, this is where the stone is gonna come in. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna do this design. Um, for now we're just gonna do this. All right, we're going to take these out and that. So what what you what you see is along with your farmland like lines, you're gonna dig out in the same spots and leave a block where the glass is. And then you're going to um you you don't really need to use glass, but it's gonna be good for a demonstration so you can see where the water is. Okay, and then there's that. And now we're gonna get our water bucket back. And place place water right there. And now what you're gonna do is you're going to stack this up to and look at it in a way where this piston will be going downward. just like that okay that step is completed and now what you're gonna do is you are going to what are you gonna do okay we're, we're just, just gonna mess with this here probably edit it out and then you're gonna have a little stairwell thing that goes along the pistons like that. And now what we're gonna do is 
put a redstone trail that goes up and along those pistons or redstone whatever okay da, 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 da. and now you're gonna place your lever wherever you want to set it off and then you are going to set it now now I'm just gonna demonstrate what what's gonna happen here and the reason for all the sticky pistons and power switches and stuff when you activate it when it's turned on it's gonna be closed in and when you turn it off the glass lifts up and releases the water and the water flows down breaks all the wheat and plop 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 <laughs> and it'll go down to the the uh, the little collecting area and with that we're gonna place some, a stone block right here it's what I like to do so that that water doesn't interact with the water you're about to place now you're gonna put one, a water there and there so that they will all join in to this alright and now um, finally you're going to place your seeds again my bone meal has come in handy and what you're gonna do next is what we've done over there you're gonna flick at the switch the water is going to take all the wheat down and it's gonna flow and it's gonna come to your little collecting area so if you're watching to this point I really hope you enjoyed the video I'm going to be uploading on a steady schedule now the best I can with all the school and distractions in my life and but it please do enjoy my videos and if I don't upload in a while then don't hate on me but there there is shame on me already so I also want to put out a tip if you have farmland that's not close to water the chances of it going back to dirt are a lot more likely I've had a problem and um, I've had a problem and it, it kept going back to dirt and I was getting so frustrated but my friend told me that if it's right beside water it should be it should be okay and it is so again I really hope you enjoyed this video this has been cool and but pointless part two and I know this isn't really pointless but it, it's it's just good to have so again I hope you enjoyed the video and I'm sorry for not uploading in a while thank you